Good morning and welcome to what I eat in a day. Today is a Monday and I'm just going to show you everything that I eat and snack on and consume, drink, put in my mouth <laughs> in a day. I did one of these many years ago after I had my surgeries in terms of what I eat with a stoma, with my ileostomy, but I'm also breastfeeding now. I am 20 months in. Yeah, Rowan's like 20, 20 and a half months now, almost two. <laughs> and I'm still breastfeeding. And even though I definitely felt like the extreme appetite and hunger and thirst at the beginning, like in those early months, it is very much still there. And also with breastfeeding, you're burning a lot of calories. You're having to produce all of this extra calories in order to feed someone else. And so I'm hungry <laughs> a lot. And the other thing, even though it has definitely improved throughout my adulthood, I'm still to my core a fussy eater. <laughs> I struggle. And so one of the reasons I wanted to make this is I enjoy watching what I eat in a day, is what I eat in a week. I also find them very unrelatable. I'm like, I could never. <laughs> They're having what for breakfast? <laughs> And I don't think I've ever seen anyone with a kind of plainer diet like I have make these videos. I guess because I'm secretly ashamed of my own diet and embarrassed. And so maybe other people feel the same way if they have a similar diet. And so that's why I never see them. So I'm just outing myself as having the palate of a six year old. Basically my dream kind of diet is a six year old's birthday party spread. Like that is what I would just love to eat for days. But no, I have gotten better over the years. And actually one of the things that has made expanding my palate and my taste and introducing new ingredients and introducing ingredients that I thought I hated, but actually I've been able to cook in ways that I like and I will eat is the sponsor of this video, which is HelloFresh. So I've been using HelloFresh for I think around like seven years now, <laughs> a long time. And they have seen me through different stages of my adult life and they just continue to be a really amazing source of recipes and food and also just like helping me eat lovely, lovely meals throughout the week. So HelloFresh sent you a box with different recipes and the exact ingredients that you need to make them with really easy to follow instructions. I find HelloFresh so convenient, especially with parenting and work. It just helps me reclaim so much time. I save so much time doing HelloFresh. Time spent going to a supermarket, time spent making shopping lists, time spent figuring out what on earth we're going to eat that week, time spent thinking about food, time spent meal planning, like all of that is just like out of my brain, don't need to worry about it. I just log into the app and I select what recipes I want and then poof, there they are, they arrive, and then I cook them and they are delicious. Their recipes have genuinely given me so much joy and exploration with food over the years. Like I said, I'm a fussy eater, but for some reason, if I cook mushrooms or tomatoes in a HelloFresh meal, they've managed to get me to like mushrooms <laughs> in some contexts. <laughs> in some contexts. They have to be chopped up is the context, really. But I've discovered so many different recipes and dishes and ingredients through doing HelloFresh and it's so fun. And it's also so great to be able to introduce Rowan to all of those different flavors and textures and ingredients. He just gets a small plate of whatever we're having and that's super handy. And the thing that I'm exploring at the moment is some of their veggie recipes because I keep saying every year I wanna try and eat less meat. And this also comes down to my like fussy eater things. I do not understand how vegetarian meals are composed, but HelloFresh is definitely helping me with that. So this week I got two veggie and one meat recipe, and I'm excited to just continue challenging myself with picking vegetarian recipes and seeing how I find them and seeing if I like them and also like if it starts to make sense <laughs> to me, like what ingredients that you use and how you can create tasty and also like filling meals without a meat component. 
because <laughs> I know it's possible. Many people do it, Hannah. So our box arrived last night and actually last night I made the Big Cheesy, which is a cheesy veggie burger with mac and cheese on salad. And that was actually delicious. It was such a tasty veggie burger. I was like, oh shit, oh, oh, okay. We get the four person box because leftovers that's another thing that is just so handy i can basically like do hello fresh and bulk cook at the same time it's brilliant so i've got more mac and cheese in the fridge and there's more burgers and i'll probably end up having some of that for my lunch and the other really handy thing about doing the four person box with us as well is that we often have guests and my mum is coming over tonight so tonight i think i'm gonna cook ba, 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 where are you this one our yellow thai style veggie noodle soup with pak choy and tender stem broccoli so i'll be able to make this with my mum's doing because we have enough ingredients we have enough portions for when we have guests over as well handy and then the other one that i've got is korean style beef fried rice nom, 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 nom. and the other things that i love about hellofresh is that there is no food waste you get given the exact ingredients that you need and it is really great value for money you can get it from three pound 15 per portion and that is before my discount so speaking of my discount mm, mm, mm. so you can get 60% off your first box and 20% off for the next two months plus a bunch of free gifts when you use my code morehanna24 so thank you so much to hellofresh for sponsoring this video i'm very excited to cook those thai noodles later but first what have i eaten so far today so water i don't drink tea or coffee i also don't know how i've gotten through motherhood so far without becoming a coffee drinker but there's my smug victory sip of just survival on water so we're starting off with my six-year-old palate strong because this morning i just had a toast and it was white bread <laughs> and i just had butter on one side because I gave half of that to Rowan and then jam on the other side. So I had one and a half pieces of toast this morning and I do feel a bit hungry still. And so I might have a snack in a bit. We've got some bananas and grapes, which I might have, but also there's chocolate cake. <laughs> And we also still have some quality street left over from Christmas. So it should be a good snacking day. But breakfast for me has to be quick. I do not have a lot of time to like make an extravagant breakfast for myself. So it is either toast or cereal. And the only cereal that I really eat is crunching up cornflakes. <laughs> right, I need to crack on with some work, but we will check in with what I'm eating for the day. <laughs> All year round, I drink cold water out of the fridge. It has to be fridge cold. I got hungry, so I'm having some olives. I love olives. And this is a bowl that my auntie made for Rowan. She is a potter. We've got quite a few homemade things from her. And they're gorgeous. Mm, 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 mm. Dan says that when I'm eating food I like, I do like a happy food dance. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Does anyone else have their own like happy food dance that they do? Right, let's try and not get olive juice on my laptop. I am starting to get hungry for lunch though, but I just need to finish off some bits and then lunchtime. Actually, let's heat the oven up so we're like ready to go. in the oven and then I also have my mac and cheese to heat up that I am just going to make some salad dressing to go with my salad. Just 
delicious today. Whilst the theme of this video is food, I figured I'd take you on a little spice rack tour because this was pretty much the only element of this kitchen living room space that wasn't finished, that wasn't here when I filmed the living room transformation video. And oh my God, it's snowing. <laughs> Is it gonna settle? Is it gonna settle? It doesn't look very thick. Mmm, she got distracted. So this is our spice rack. I am obsessed with it. Dan the other night was cooking and he was like, it's so much easier to find things. And I was like, yes, this is great. And then of course I organized it. There is a system and I wanna take you through the system. Starting on the top shelf, these ones here are all extras. So we don't need access to them right now, hence why they are high up, because I can barely reach them. And these are just like a different brand and like a bigger packet of some curry powder and ground cumin. And then in this is some bay leaves. And then in this one is a fajita seasoning mix that I made that I didn't invent. I think it was a BBC recipe, but I made that. And then we come down a shelf and this is the fancy shelf. So this is where you get the like fancy paprika that Dan likes to get because he thinks it is better, fine. Who am I to disagree with the chef? And then these are these really amazing spice blends from this company, Camella Spice Co. They are incredible and we found them at a local market to us. They're based in North London and in Birmingham. So you can order online from them as well. But also if you're in those areas, you might happen upon them at a market. But yeah, these spice blends are incredible and so unique and they're inspired by the owner's grandma and it gives you like information about what's in it what it tastes like what the heritage is we had this one all over our christmas a goose it was delicious and then again some other fancy ones and then you come down to this section which you might recognize from your classic supermarket spices and herbs section and this of course is organized in alphabetical order da, 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 da. and then this is an empty shortbread biscuit tin my granny got us these for christmas and they're delicious and i really like the tin and i feel like i might do something with it but there's space here and i think it looks cute Ta-da! there's our spice rack Yes, I know there's no room for any more spices, but we will cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> so I'm gonna crack on with the rest of my workday stood up here because my laptop was about to run out of battery and I basically keep the charger all like plugged in in these drawers. And yeah, I could get the charger out and plug it in elsewhere, but I can't be bothered. And actually, I like that this becomes a kind of standing desk, like an accidental standing desk. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on with some work here whilst my laptop is plugged in. And we'll see how much more work I can get done before my mum gets here. And then it can be cake time, cause I really want some cake, it's the best cake ever, but I'll wait until my mum gets here. <laughs> She's now playing with him in his room and I'm gonna try and get a bit of work done whilst having a slice of this chocolate cake. This is my favorite chocolate cake ever. It's a Nigella Lawson recipe. It's the dense chocolate loaf cake and it is just heaven. It's so moist. It's dark muscovado sugar and you put like a quarter of a liter of water in it. So it's just so moist and delicious and rich in flavor. And it's just my favorite cake in the world. I absolutely love it. And then I also have half a banana here that Rowan discarded and waste not want not. So I'm gonna finish this banana. And banana and chocolate is an excellent combo. So good. But yeah, I'm gonna try and finish up some work before Rowan realizes I'm missing and then wants me to come play as well.
I'm having a minute to myself whilst my mum does bath time with Rowan. Dinner was delicious and like a really filling veggie meal, which is one of the things that I worry about when reducing the amount of meat that I'm eating is that I won't feel as full, but that was really filling and really tasty. Before dinner, I also had some carrots because my mum chopped up some carrots for Rowan and then Rowan came over and put one of them in my mouth and then I decided to finish off the rest of them. Yum. We did have some hummus in the fridge, but I didn't think to do any dipping, just, just raw carrots. But we are in bedtime routine mode now. But one of the things that basically I routinely do now, I don't know if I do it because I'm hungry or if I do it because it's like the routine we've gotten into, or if it's like an emotional thing, probably a bit of all of it. But every evening after Rowan goes to bed, I have to have a sweet snack or a salty snack. So it could be crisps as well. But tonight it will probably be another slice of that chocolate cake because oh my God, that chocolate cake. But honestly, I think the last time that I had an evening without snacks was probably because we forgot to buy them and we didn't have any in the house, which was sad. But another thing about my eating habits and why I'm keen to reduce the amount of meat I eat and eat more veggie meals is that sometimes I have days where I eat meat for every meal and I get to the end of the day and I'm like, dear Lord, Hannah, what, how did we get here? And that's not something that I'm proud of. That doesn't feel like something that like is a behavior of mine that aligns with my ethical values, which is why I feel so like in pain, and like ashamed about it. And it's one of those things that I'm always <laughs> trying to like readdress the balance of and continually struggling with. And I feel like I'm years behind everyone. I feel like this is a dilemma that most of my peers were going through like five to 10 years ago. And it's like, catch up catch up with in, but we're all on our own journeys and have our own weird relationship with food. But I'm really glad that I have something like HelloFresh where I can experiment with and try different vegetarian recipes and like see what I like, see what tastes good to me, see what still feels filling. But I am being called to the bathroom now, so. Okay, gotta go. <laughs> morning it's the following day once again having toast i'm having my breakfast now because obviously my mum was here so she looked after rowan in the morning and i got a lion and so i'm now eating toast and rowan it's at his childminders but cheers got my water as well obviously i got my period this morning and i can feel the cramps happening so i think i'm gonna have to eat more of that chocolate cake what a chore what a chore. But thank you so much for watching this very normal for me, <laughs> what I eat in a day. I would love to hear if any of you have similar eating habits to me, if you relate just to the like white toast, like I love a beige plate of food. What can I say? What can I say? If you like these kind of realistic foodie videos, let me know because I'm keen to do a why I eat in a week because I think that would give like a fuller picture obviously than just like in a 24 hour period. But yeah, let me know. Hope you're doing well. And thank you again so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Don't forget, you can use my code morehanna 24 to get 60% off your first box and then 20% off your next two months. Enjoy, happy eating, happy food. I love food. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm.